Today will be a season recap on the Nebraska football season, the 2017 season. There was no through 28, yeah, because we didn't make a bowl game. But, yeah, so first season we were 4-8, you know, super good. Uh, I got, I don't even know. And I'll be going down a step-through-step -step breakdown of each of these games uh, through our season. And uh, it was a rough season. It was a rough season. So, going from our first game of the season versus Arkansas State, the score was only a touchdown difference, 36-43. to This game, I noticed our defense was nowhere near subpar. They were terrible and uh, it was it was a it was a rocky game um we'll just we'll just say that because when you when you can only beat arkansas state by that much but tanner lee he had a pretty good game this that game he threw uh two touchdowns zero interceptions but uh and his completion rate it was never good this whole season i'll, I'll just be quite frank and but it was it was pretty good. Trey Bryant, when well, I'll, I'll be so thankful to have him back next season. He's a great running back. He had one touchdown and a hundred and two nine or a hundred and ninety two yards on thirty one carries. I mean, that that's what you want out of a running back right there. And so our that was first game. I noticed our defense wasn't doing too good, and uh, they have thirty six points to Arkansas State. That that's not too good. Only went in by a touchdown in the season opener. Now, the second game was a little interesting. It was Nebraska at Oregon, and uh, it was it was a pretty good game. Uh, we ended up losing forty two to thirty five. This is where I really got ticked off at Tanner Lee. If you did not see that video, you should go watch it. Even though it's a long time ago, this is the first video I ever did. And uh, he went 19 for 41 out of a quarterback. And uh, he threw three touchdowns, but he counted that out with four interceptions. Uh, once again, Trey Bryant had a 100-yard rushing game. Uh, that, that's what you want. That's the consistency out of a, out of a back you need, 100-yard games. But uh, we still did not play with Big Bo these, like, two games. Uh, but... We we lost 35-42, I think I already said that. It was a decent, it was a hard-fought game, but uh, they pulled out the win, and uh, frankly, we did not. Third game, Northern Illinois. You must be thinking, we definitely won this game. I mean, this should be a sealed win. No. 21-17, to Northern Illinois, and... Uh, I don't even know where to start from here, Tanner Lee. This is probably the worst game out of a quarterback I've ever seen in a life. I mean, when you can go 25 for 47, you must be thinking, nah, that's actually decent for Tanner Lee. Out of Tanner Lee, that, any other quarterback, that'd be terrible. But then, he threw zero touchdowns and three interceptions. That's where I don't even know what to do. I mean... But we still had a good running game. I mean, we had 90, 90 yards out of Will Bond. I mean, that was pretty good. Then there's Igbo with eight, and that that was around 100 yards. But still, we just, yeah, I don't. And then defense against Northern Illinois, we did we held our own. And then so we we're coming off two two back to back losses. We had to counter out this with a win, and uh, that's what we did against Rutgers. 27 to 17 Nebraska. Uh, we forced our quarterback into making bad decisions. He went 15 for 29 and two interceptions. They relied too much on the run game. They only ended up with like 200 yards in total this game. I mean, it was it was it was a great defensive game. Uh, Tanner Lee, he went 13 for 26, 50 percent. It's pretty good. 109 yards, two touchdowns, but counters that out with two interceptions. 
if he just eliminates some of these interceptions, that, that could help us out a lot. Uh, get our defense off the field more, it would, it would just help us out. I mean, that's all I gotta say. On that issue, well, until the next game when I see him having 10 interceptions in game, uh, we had Ozigbo with 101, and then we had Wilbon with uh, 78. Uh, so, that was pretty good. It's 200 yards, based roundish, 179, but uh, that was good. Uh, that's, you know, then we had no the next game, Nebraska versus Illinois. This this game, it was you would you were thinking it would be a sealed in win, and that's what I was thinking at the time. But now looking back on our season, and knowing our record, I I don't know what games I'd count as wins and what games I'd count as losses. I mean, I don't know. But we did win twenty eight to six. This is Tanner Lee's probably best game he's had his whole career. He went 17 for 24. That is very good for him on completion. And touchdowns, three. Interceptions, zero. Can you guys believe that? And then we had Ozigbo pulling the force, 106 yards, and Wilbon uh, with 60. That's what you want. That's like 172 yards right there out of running backs. That's, that, that's, I don't even know what else you'd want out of a, out of a quarterback and a running back. I mean, that's that's the ideal ideal team right there, and only giving up six points. That's that's amazing on defense. Then coming off Illinois, we had Wisconsin. Now, right now they're they're undefeated. So, at the end of the season, when we played them, they're five and zero, uh, and we lost thir- thirty eight to seventeen. Uh, it was it was just it wasn't good. It was, they scored 10 in the first, we scored 0, then it was 7, but we scored 10, then it was 7, seven points each in the third, 14, they pulled away with 14-0, and, uh, sorry, I had a hiccup there, we forced our quarterback into not doing too well on passing, I mean, he did decent, he went 9, nine for 17, 113 yards, one touchdown, one reception, that's, that's okay, but running backs, we got destroyed by them rushing the ball. It was, it was not a good sight. Two hundred and forty-nine yards. Also, I was gonna say two fifty, but I'll give you guys the exact stats. Uh, two touchdowns. He was adri- averaging ten yards a carry. Let that sink in. He was averaging ten yards a carry. And then. Another guy, he had seven, seven carries for 51 yards, average, and then another guy, 12, 12 carries for 43, and then two for 11. They had so many running backs play, and they all, all, all ran up the score on us, and I don't blame them. And then after Wisconsin, we saw Ohio State on our schedule. This is where, you know, I started to realize, oh, crap. You know, I started realizing, looking at our schedule, we won't win many of these games. Well, with Mike Riley as coach, I'll just say that really quick. I don't like Mike Riley as a coach at all. And then we lost 56-14. to And, uh, yeah. Tanner Lee, 23 for 38. 303 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's pretty good for him, zero interceptions. I can't believe it. But running the ball, this is where we started to have a ton of issues. We we only ran the ball with actual running backs like 12 times. We ran the ball 12 times in a game. You, you can't win doing that. I mean, we like on the ground, we only had like 44 yards. It, I don't even know how that's possible. Their quarterbacks, they just... They absolutely destroyed us. They had JT Barrett go five touchdowns. They had, they had like five straight possessions where they scored, and we had they had shutouts. Now, next game Purdue. I was hoping, oh, this will boost our morale if we can at least beat Purdue. You know, it would be a good game, nice win, nice win to add to our schedule, and we did. But I did. It we only beat Purdue by one point. One point, okay. 
And Tanner Lee had a great game, but I don't even know. It at, at, Ever since, like, the Ohio State game, that game included, we cannot run the ball at all. Uh, we went, we only ran for, I don't even know, like, 60 yards this game. I, I rounded these up. And 60 yards, and Purdue, their quarterback didn't do too hot, but they ran the ball. If your quarterback doesn't do that good, and it's our blocking, it's not our it's not our running backs' fault. We have good running backs. We have we have tough, strong running backs. But when you don't have a line, what else can you do? So we just need a better line. It 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 doesn't even I don't get I don't I can't comprehend that. Then we burst Northwestern. So finished in overtime. So. It was it was pretty good, but their quarterback got that one touchdown. He threw zero touchdowns though, but two interceptions. But I I honestly don't know how they scored thirty one points. I mean, their running backs. Well, he did rush for two. Their quarterback did so. Yeah, and Nebraska apparently went two touchdowns, but three interceptions. Running the ball, we actually got more than a hundred yards this game, but when Two of them were from Spielman, who's a wide receiver, so it probably get sweeps. Uh, you know, Will Bond, they only gave him the ball one time, but uh, I don't even know. We just use uh, Ozigbo as a blocker, it seems like, because we couldn't really do much. And that game, that was, uh, that was a rough game. That was a nice, hard-fought game. Then we had Minnesota on our roster. I was thinking this might be a close game. We might we might be able to maybe win. Yeah, it did not happen. Score twenty one fifty four them. We had Tanner Lee go thirteen for eighteen. That, I mean that's good. We just had the ball like we hardly had the ball, and then he threw zero interceptions but one touchdown. Uh, but we had Pat O'Brien. He did pretty good. He went twelve for eighteen. On 137 yards, uh, but just like that shows you, they had Tanner Lee, our starting quarterback, went 13 for 18. Our backup, 12 for 18. I don't know, it was pretty good. Their quarterback did terrible, nine for 15, 105 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they ran the ball like crap, like, like they ran the heck out of the ball. I mean, they had 100. 183 yards on 10 carries from their quarterback. He averaged 18.3 yards a carry. 18.3. And then they had another, an actual running back, get 134 yards on us, but no touchdowns. Then they had another running back go for three touchdowns on 93 yards. We just could not stop the run once again. If you see a pattern, you can tell me in the comments, because I certainly do. Then Penn State, 44-56. You're looking at the score, you're just like, that was a pretty close game. No, no, it wasn't. The The second quarter, they, they blew the can open. They blew the lid off the can. They scored 28 in the second. Then... In the third, they just put in their running back so he could pad the stats a little, you know, make a run for the Heisman, and then they pulled him. They pulled everyone out in, like, the halfway through on their offense. Their defense, or, like, all their main players, their quarterback, running back. And then in the fourth, they pulled out. They mainly, they didn't even try on defense. You could just tell they were just, nah, they weren't having it. And they, Tanner Lee had a great game. Three touchdowns, zero interceptions, 400 yards. That's what you want. And then uh, you had Iowa. If you could see the stands in this game, you'd be pretty amazed we were playing at a D1 school in Nebraska where we have a sellout streak of, like, <laughs> a ton of games. It's like 300 and stuff. I don't even know. Tanner Lee. Like the god he is. Two touchdowns, three interceptions. 
you know, it's their running, though. If we could run the ball more, then Tanner, because they're expecting the pass. Like, they know we're going to pass a ton because we can't run the ball, or when we do, it's, no one blocks anyone. Literally. It, I was watching the Penn State uh, highlights, and literally no one was blocking anyone. I don't even know how they're... They have no coordination, communication, that's what I meant, sorry. Uh, it's just, I don't even get how they're, how they're doing it, but we're, at the end of the season, we went 4-8. Four, four and eight. Uh, I let that sink in. We had Mike Riley, he got, he got canned, then we had Bob Diaco get canned, and those are just two that have been uh, fired so far. There will be a, more to come, I can tell you that. We'll have to restructure the whole thing. This is our worst losing season since 1961. Yep. Uh, and out of the four losing seasons since I think it was like 1979, like Mike Riley had four, uh, two of them. And the two out of the four, that's been, like, the past two years. And then one, I don't even know. I mean, I'm just glad the season's over. Uh, and we can maybe do better next year. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share the video. It'll mean a lot to me. And goodbye.